blogging on Squarespace. Okay, let's get started. So we are going to go to the pages section of Squarespace. <laughs> and if you already have a blog, then you will see this blog uh, section or page. If you don't, then you can hit the plus and hit blog under collections. So we will click blog. And here you will see all of your blog posts. You will also see the blog page and all the ones that have already been published. So if you want to blog, all you have to do is start by pressing the plus button or icon. And it will send you to a new page. It will enter, you can add a like new title. And here you can add your blog post content. You can format it by using some of these typography selections. If you want um, to make this a different font, you can use like font heading or a heading font and then go to paragraph, bold, you can highlight and bold it, italicize, etc. Or if you want to add a link to a specific text, which would be perfect for affiliate links or internal or external pages. You can click that and either type it in or click the gear icon to go to one of these other pages. Okay. If you want to add other sections, you can still do that here. And then if you want to make additional changes, you can go to this upper right hand corner with this gear icon, select that. And then you'll see a few more blog post settings. So here on the content tab, you have status. If you want to change it to needs review, publish or schedule. Add tags to help for searchability. Select a category or add a new category. You can type it and hit enter. Allow or, or enable or disable comments. And if you want to duplicate the page. You also have options. Let's say you want to add a thumbnail image. This is going to show up in like searches or posts. If you want to change the post URL, you can do that. It will automatically create like new ones based on your titles as well. If you want to add an excerpt, you can do that here. And you can also highlight an option to make it a featured post. You also have the option for a little bit of SEO. If you want to customize that, you can add your blog post title or your SEO optimized blog post title, as well as a description. You can see right here that it shows the search result preview as to what will show up on, let's say, Google. So you can add all of that information there. A social image is, let's say, you add a link or you copy and paste a link to, let's say, a Facebook page. Sometimes it'll bring up an image. This is what's going to be added in case you want to customize that. You can share it by connecting to social media or email and add a location as well. Most of which you'll probably be sticking to the content options in SEO. Always just remember to hit save. You can also add an image right here Let's just search for a free one real quick. And there you have it once it gets loaded. But again, you can kind of form and change and add sections or content based on what is needed for each post. 
Then on the upper left hand side, you have done. So you can save it, publish, schedule, etc. If you just save it without publishing or scheduling, it's just going to be a draft. And again, you can see all of them here. One thing I would recommend is for our templates, we have kind of like this blog format already set up. You can just hit duplicate and it'll give you the exact same blog post design over and over. And so that's really helpful and saves a lot of time so you don't have to do the, the layout every single time. Now a few other updates you can make is go to edit and hit this uh, edit section. And here you can make some format changes, including the, the content width, alignment, and also whether or not certain information shows up. For example, the metadata, so like show date or show categories, you can enable or disable this. So right now there's no category selected, but you can see that the date enabled will show up. And let's say you want it below the title, you can change that here. You can also show your author name or your profile and the spacing. And if you want to change the color theme, you can do that here as well. So if you want the metadata to change um, or if you want to enable or disable some of those options, you can do that right there. Again, always just make sure to save what you do. And you can hit done and save. Okay. So that is how you blog on Squarespace. Thanks.